lighting uh, lighting today and we integrate uh, with the lighting um, you can call as uh, traffic management waste management uh, and energy efficiency um, for cities and for the smart cities so that's my uh, profile uh, i will share my linkedin so there is a linkedin profile if you wanted to uh, get in touch with me you can uh, uh, get in touch with me for any of your queries okay so what is that we wanted in smart cities okay so when why smart cities are taking um, more more and more attractive these days because everyone wanted to live in a city where the city wanted to be livable and it should be responsive it should be productive and it's attractive and it should be safe and and many more many more in the cities right so if you see the uh, if you see the centuries before and now more people are living and attracted in the cities basically our goal today we will see how we can uh, how we can innovatively address the common problems and common challenges which we have in the cities and how we can use the technology and the transformations to make the city more livable and more responsive right i wanted to conduct a small um, polling among with all of you uh, what is that you wanted to see in your cities and what is that you wanted to get out of your cities okay if, i hope everybody has the um, has the mobile phone mobile gadget just type in menti.com in your uh, browser okay and then enter the code which is present here which is 1461230 and then just type in what you see the answers what does your ideal smart city look like i hope everyone is able to make it just go to your browser of your phone menti.com and type in this code 1461230 you will see a question with a five um, blanks just answer the blanks i have not received anything is everyone doing good we will stop the questionnaire in, in few in, in few seconds try to give a short and crisp crisp answers very good we'll take another one minute and close the questionnaire
we have 21 participants at least i expect 15 plus uh, submissions so that we can go ahead so repeat the procedure again so it is there what does your ideal smart city look like and you need to pick your mobile and enter menti.com and you have to enter the code 1461230 and you have the code on the screen already you can uh, just type in the code Okay, we'll take last one minute and close the questionnaire. Otherwise, we won't be able to make it to our. Uh... Okay, so I will start. Uh, I'll start. What is there uh, and most popular words? Whatever we can see. You can see here. The first one is clean. I think most of them are accepting this cleanliness is one of the major concern we see in all the cities, right? And the second one, I see innovative, responsive, uh, and at the same time, neat. I can see smart ecosystem, energy efficiency, smart waste management. Yeah, so clean and waste management together, traffic control. That's another uh, multiple participants has asked to be, yeah, and happy life, and. Uh, public transportation smart transportation street lights smart street lights right and uh, it should be convenient approachable very nice very nice view we can see here all of these how do we achieve achieve all of this is the challenge today for all the cities right Okay, so for me, I have listed down a couple of them, which you have already pointed out most of them, right? So I see, uh, I see a themes from all your um, questionnaires, right? So first thing, first and foremost thing is safety, right? Once we go out from the house, the safety is very, very important to reach back to the house. So what are the things needed for the safety? And then maintenance is the next thing. So in the maintenance, we have waste management, uh, um, cleanliness. You see energy efficiency of city, smart lighting, uh, transportation. Everything comes under the maintenance of the cities. And livability. So once you have safety and maintenance in a good peak, then you will attract the cities. You know that uh, our prime minister also Every time he says smart cities, smart cities, innovation, innovation, right? In all his, um, his uh, presentations. And we know this, we are hearing this from so many days on the livability and smartness and attractiveness and activity. Can we achieve all of this only with IoT? I do not know. It may not be possible. Only with IoT, all of this is not at all achievable but it can create an ecosystem which can achieve these these things to get a smarter cities in the future right so what is that needed to be done in the iot okay so when it when it comes to iot it's very very broader term everybody knows internet of things right but internet of things comes only with a connecting of things, connecting of people, applications, and data, and all of this gets connected to the internet. And all of these need to be managed with a remote control and remote management, and it should be integrated with the multiple services. So if we talk about traffic control, 
so traffic control is not only managed by the by the police it has to be integrated to a service so that we also should be able to manage the interactive traffic controls so that it is livable in the cities so tomorrow uh, we see that more than today um, today 7.6 billion uh, people are living on the earth but in near future very close to near future more than people there will be smart devices so why it can happen it will be for every person maybe more than one or two smart devices will be there today we already see one mobile phone one laptop one tv and one gadget which is lying on their hand um, with a um, with a small gadgets so these kind of things are going to happen uh, very soon and it is going to increase the internet of things more and more so what are the things influencing this iot technology right so it is people is the first one who is going to influence the iot bigger and bigger and more and more how it is going to be influenced why we need to influence the iot it's basically we wanted to monitor and control all our devices through remotely simple examples right so recently i heard that one of my friend built a house and he got uh, most of the items which are connected to his wifi i asked him what are the things you connected to wifi he said first thing we live in bangalore he said i i will get all the time cold water he connected his uh, geyser to iot so that means he is able to operate his geyser which is there in his house through his mobile phone before he reaches his house he will have a hot water in his home so that's how the people wanted to monitor and control his own devices their own devices and likewise acs right so we see already those things are happening more and more and the air pollution is increasing so air connected devices are going to be bigger uh, uh, iot devices in future so and then processes so what are the processes the machines collaboration real time processing units and those are going to be a bigger change uh, in the future these devices are connecting each other that means there is a data generated by all these devices and somebody need to take the data which is generated by these devices and uh, and it should be reliable the data should be secured and the data should be accurate so that we can take a decision making and that means it is not only taking a decision making it's about predicting the decisions predicting what's going to happen in future for example we have seen in from last 3 to 3 uh, to 4 weeks time we have lot of uh, weather uh, differences before there is a cyclone created our weather reports and our other, our cyclone um, management teams already telling that there is a cyclone going to happen in next 3 4 days time how they are going to predict this information they have the information of the devices which are giving them the predictive analysis that okay there will be a cyclone there is a low pressure created under the water which is uh, which is uh, miles of kilometers under the water and it has it is releasing a different pressures it is releasing a different gases which could create a low pressure in the sea that's how the data collection is happening the predictive analysis is happening with these we wanted we have already mobile devices which is, which are going to be um controllable and which need to be controlled in the future as well so how this market is going to be in the future so i just took one of the markets analysis today uh you can see the you can see the source where i took from this is a this is a little old uh, uh, source and which is from uh, forbes.com um so you see that 125 billion dollars funding is going to happen for these technologies and within the within the multiple uh, startups which are going to come 
okay so how the market also trending and how the market is industry is trending and increasing the consumers of uh, using the smart devices and at the same time the businesses are also increasing uh, drastically in this uh, industry okay so when it comes to types of iot devices right so what are the different types of iot devices we have so if you look at it we have uh, different devices starting with mission to mission uh, communication what it means mission to mission communication so we have today google facebook um, and uh, whatsapp what are the devices they are having so they have virtual machines which are talking to each other which are talking to each other and the data exchange is happening between their devices to our smartphones that means mission to mission and mission to mission the device communication and the connections are happening with this today i see the news that uh, whatsapp is is releasing releasing their own uh, payment gateway and uh, you can transfer the um, the money and things like that from your from your gadget to uh, a different people so that mean the integrations are going very very high why these integrations are going to high is mainly because of the people and the consumers we are the ones which are which our needs are increasing so so the technology is used to fulfill our needs second thing is person to person what is it person to person and the next is person to machine is uh, also a device which is uh, iot and machine to person so these are the different types of uh, communications which happens in the iot and uh, it is going to impact in our uh, future if you have any questions so far you can just type in we can take the questions after uh, uh, once we start entering into iot architectures so still in the market industry and iot um, we see that broadly i see three different types of uh, industries um, one is connected apps and uh, processes there in the connected apps and processes we have a smart consumer and smart users uh, for example this is in the in the in the very uh, retail industry if you take retail industry the retail industry is going to be a bigger uh, usage of the connected devices uh for example we have uh, we uh, we did one of the applications in um, in zara uh, you might know about zara retail stores so there we wanted to control the lighting system so that depending upon the color of the dress depending upon the color of the um, color of the items which are there in the on the table or on the mannequins the lighting effects will change depending on that the the feel of that feel of the store and feel of the total environment will be keep on changing so that's an attractiveness for the consumers so and then smart enterprises connected intelligence so here connected intelligence is like um, uh, smart data and smart clouds so we get the data from different um, uh, sensors and different um, aspects of sensors the data will be collected and it is processed in the smart clouds and connected edge connected edge is like you have you might have heard about uh, um, automated cars autonomous cars and connected uh, cars these kind of things those are those are going to be a future uh, and it is it is more of uh, network based uh, uh, systems which are going to be coming and now today we see already in the cars as soon as you enter into the car and you switch on your mobile bluetooth the car will take your bluetooth uh, of the mobile and then it has its own bluetooth and it's connected together each other and then you can uh, do a lot of things with your mobile phone and um, and run and drive the car so those are creating a kind of a mesh network and uh, uh, working together okay so in the market and industry i wanted to give you a glimpse of who are all working in these industries and uh, who are all working on the connected apps and processes which we have seen in the previous slides 
uh, if you see uh, facility facilitative reality okay so what it means facilitative reality you might have already heard about google glasses virtual reality and uh, uh, vr and ar artificial reality and virtual reality today due to the pandemic situations already uh, there are multiple companies used this uh, vr and ar and created applications out of it for example i i read in one of the papers dubai police is using using a glasses uh, which detects the temperature of a person in the when he is walking out from the metro or he is walking out from the airport he is walking into a airport or something like that they detect the temperature of a person and uh, immediately they report them uh, to isolate the person uh, to a different uh, place so that so that the the virus and these kind of things are not spread more so that kind of uh, reality is uh, virtual reality is used uh, today already and we know that connected homes right so already i told about examples of connected homes who are all working these are the companies which are working on the connected homes and uh, they are uh, looking after um, more and more innovations to build their own applications and uh, things so you see connected cars is another example we already discussed about this and health smart health is another one of the biggest uh, areas which is still need to be explored and touched uh, huge because of um, a lot of aspects environment and these kind of things smart health is going to be one of the bigger uh, future in the iot right so this is shared economy for example doctors on a demand that means uh, doctor is sitting somewhere and he is treating today it is already uh, real uh, today with uh, multiple applications of of doctor we uh, we don't need to go to a hospital they they directly see you through a phone or through a through a video call or something like that and they prescribe the medicines that is one way but treating the patient remotely is going to happen in future and it is already happening with uh, multiple companies uh, are already working on it that means patient the patient is there in on a smart bed somewhere in the remote corner of the uh, corner of the countries and uh, the complete bed is is smart and they have injections tied up they have all these things tied up to the bed and the doctor can um, can remotely operate how much um, how much of how much ml of injection need to be done these kind of things are already possible today in the in this uh, iot industry right smart transportation uh, we know already there are uh, certain companies are working on this smart smart transportation and uh, it is going to happen more and more uh, in the future so building and construction industry is another uh, thing very where, where um where the where the efficiency of the construction has to be increased and at the same time uh, the wastage of material should come down these kind of aspects are going to come uh, in the future i know that there is a company working on uh, working on building a wall so they just provide the provide the bricks and the cement in a different place the machine automatically builds builds a wall and uh, gives in an hour or two hours time so they just need to operate they don't need a machine they don't need they don't need a man or they don't need a mestri who can do the construction it is automatically done uh, already so manufacturing industry is another big um, era because of, of the increase in the usage of things increase in the usage of of um, items manufacturing industry is going to be uh, bigger in the iot again oil and gas energy industry so here uh, our company plays a good role here um, so energy efficiency oil and oil efficiency gas uh, usage of gas and these kind of things because the natural resources are natural and if we if we lose them we cannot build it again right so and health cloud and uh, uh, cloud uh, platforms on the health and uh, related aspects 
okay so then in the previous slide we see that there are they those people are uh, working on the sensors and uh, these kind of things here the collected data is uh, collected from all the sensors and the devices and where the intelligence is lies it is on the intelligence lies on the connected devices right once we have the connected devices that means the devices are generating the lots of lots of data which is going to be a very big terabytes of data uh, we have to store those data and process the data process properly so that we can create a value out of it right so that's where the big data comes that's where the machine learning the the data science and the data analysis uh, comes and with that uh, data which is there on the on the databases it needs to be taken out and process it properly that's where the ai and machine learning comes into picture right so if you have the terabytes of data but if it is not processed and analyzed there is no use so that's where your machine learning and ai comes and uh, you have to we need to take out the data and process it properly so to to do these operations we need a smart cloud so these are the organizations or these are the applications which we are have to which we are using to make the cloud um, cloud to make the cloud and make the applications use of it so as we are using the data and connected devices the data security and data privacy is going to play a major role here uh, because the data privacy we know uh, that the security and privacy is a bigger concern uh, today we see the hacking is increasing like anything and at the same time the um, the systems and technologies are very open due to all the all the technical developments are happening in the background okay so these are couple of uh, connected uh, devices and smart networks which which i see from the um, from the high level so we have the variables android wear fitbit and uh, vehicle management we see uber today uber is coming up with the uh, connected vehicles and these kind of things uh, today and we already see in lot of emails lot of uh, blogs drones are going to take drones are going to deliver things drones are going to treat people drones are going to give um, uh, first um, attacks these kind of things are going to happen in future these are the companies working on those uh, developments and robots is going to happen in future and to make these uh, these things we need machines so who are all going to provide the machines who are the companies which are going to uh, provide microcontrollers microprocessors which need to process there are some companies i listed down here uh, okay so we go to a next yeah so these applications i already touched upon little bit um if you see the manufacturing industry more of automation monitoring is going to happen and supply supply chain and providing distribution monitoring and these kind of things vending machines uh, facility management uh, if i if you look at it uh, homes buildings offices uh, campus automation these kind of uh, applications so utilities already we mentioned gas water electricity etc and health personal health body sensors and uh, health sensors examples etc etc okay so we come to a next question um, again any questions we see on the chat window uh, ragu or uh, ma'am then we can take up if any questions are there otherwise we go to a next uh, poll <clears throat> So till now, uh, there is no questions in chat box. Then please continue. Okay, okay. thank you. Then we go to uh, next question already. Uh, just one question it is there uh, from Pawan, sir. Hi, how IoT impacts the creating of new jobs in, this, in that sector, and what are the need needed technologies for it? Uh, can you repeat the question? I hear, I hardly hear your voice. <laughs> How, how iot impacts the creating of new jobs in that sector and what are the needed technologies for it okay very good very good question 
okay so we'll go to that uh, answer very soon um, you might need to answer this question which is going to present in menti.com again please uh, take your mobile phones and get ready with uh, the code already here your question is there what is required to build iot applications okay so we have we have a good uh, good participation uh, to see what is required to build iot applications so as as pavan asked right so we will get into more details about what is required uh, and how how to see the iot applications uh, to be developed and to be seen in the reality and from the from the participation and the questionnaire i see that uh most of them said iot means sensors and uh, microprocessors devices and bandwidth right communication channel is required communication channel is required and then microcontrollers uh, variable variables and uh, multiple said about uh, software uh, coding and uh, cloud right hardware uh, technology servers yeah so very very nice uh, view to see and uh, get get the get get the view of what is that uh, needed to be built iot applications so we'll we'll see that we'll see very detailedly uh, more about Uh, how iot architectures are going to be and um, how the devices are uh, 
uh, are taken into are taken and then see the impacts of it. Okay, so hold on your questions. If anything you have, uh, I will answer your questions at the end of the presentation as well. Okay, so when it comes to IoT architectures, so you already said about sensors and sensor uh, networks, right? So if you see the the below the top below layer is sensor because sensor is sensor or the hardware devices it may not be only sensors it could be any hardware device is the one going to give us give the information uh, about something for example uh, rfid uh, barcodes or tags these kind of things once the sensor sends some information back to the network so we that needs to the that uh, whatever the data is coming it needs to be uh, aggregated at a network for example i have a home i in my home i have uh, 10 to 15 devices which are giving different data somebody need to aggregate that data otherwise each sensor is different type and each sensor is a different application which is giving it needs to be understandable and it should be uh, meaningful data should come out so that data will come out as a come to a gateways and the gateways are the aggregators uh, which will take the data and send it back to a management services. So what type of networks, what type of gateways we have? WAN, you know, you all know about it. GSM, 2G, 3G, 4G, uh, LTE, LTEA, and uh, NB-IoT, et etc. et cetera. And sometimes those are, uh, those are from Wi-Fi and Ethernet also, it's possible and the gateway also gateway control also is possible and then as the data comes from the network devices what do we do it at the management level so the data is is available in the uh, database the data modelings need to be created as soon as the data modelings are created extraction has to happen from the data and uh, on that data extraction some um, analysis has to happen with the configuration of sensors. Why the configuration is very, very important. For example, the area where you are going to place the sensor, it depends the, the configuration of the device. For example, the, the calibration of the devices are different for different devices at different places. It calibration changes in the night times, the calibration changes in the daytime. When it is foggy, the calibration of the device will be changed. When it rains, the calibration will be changed. So that is where the configuration comes into the picture. So that configuration need to be understandable to the, um, to the machines, then only they can process it nicely and correctly. And then secure monitoring, secure control should happen on the management level. Once, the, once we have the data and the data is available in the databases with a specific configuration, then the applications are going to use our data into, into their own purposes. So environmental devices has its own uh, usage of uh, applications. So these are the different kinds of applications used uh, to be done with the sensor data. Environmental, energy, healthcare, transportation, people tracking, retail, supply chain, surveillance, et cetera, et cetera. So, so the question answer to uh, Pawan. So, if we see the sensors, uh, sensors are related to hardware. So, there are going to be embedded uh, uh, engineers are needed to program these sensors and to build the sensors. We need uh, hardware engineers, and at the same time, for the network, uh, for the gateways and networks, we need communication engineers. And for the management services and these kind of things, we need software, data science, uh, data analysis, data analytics. Uh, these people are required. At the same time, security building, we need a secure, uh, we need hackers. And for the applications, we need, we need people who can build uh, applications on top of this, who can build, who can do the application uh, developments, right? That's where if you look at it, for, for building an IoT application, we need everybody who is an engineer. 
so when it when we go into a little more deeper into uh, sensors and sensor uh, layers right so we already discussed uh, in the previous slide about rfid and uh, barcodes are the tags which are going to be uh, sensor devices which will give us the information what type of sensors we use here right so there is a sensors which are uh, solid state circuit sensors uh, depending upon the um, upon the thermal temperatures depending upon the air air uh, differences the solid state uh, sensors react in a different situations and uh, uh, these are mainly used in the air in the pollution and temperature controls air quality and um, photo sensors also used uh, in solid state examples okay catalytic and gyroscopes all in our mobile phones we see already gyroscopes are there those are the ones uh, giving us the information about uh, which direction you are going which uh, side you are going which angle of data you are going and these kind of things we have the gps photoelectric uh, sensors and photochemistry sensors infrared uh, sensors which will con which will give the how many people are there people's count and these kind of things and accelerometers so once these sensors are giving the information they have to connect each other to exchange information and uh, send the information back to our our uh, iot systems in the back end right so there the major communication uh connections which are short range communications and uh, long range communication devices so mostly initial initially for creating a network we will be using short range communications example a bluetooth and uh, zigbee bluetooth or zigbee are very short range communications zigbee is uh, around uh, around 20 meters to 30 meters uh, the zigbee can uh, work a bluetooth also at the same time same almost these are short range unlicensed uh, communication networks so nobody needs to know needs to have a license to work on this zigbee and bluetooth that's where you see all the home devices and the wearables are based on bluetooth and uh, bluetooth has a low energy which is ble that's where uh, most of the devices are on the bluetooth for the wearables uh and uh, next is low um low power wide area networks wide personal area networks this is actually communicates more than 1 to 2 kilometers uh, with a very very low data rate and uh, which is used in uh, some of the smart devices uh, today like uh, video cameras and uh, very low communication data rate devices example traffic controls and lighting also used uh, this one and the next is wired uh, communication where we need to send a lot of data for example surveillance uh, cameras uh, which will be capturing uh, lot of uh, vga vga um, data which is videos and we need wired uh, communication there uh, to be connected so wifi and ethernet is another uh, communication layer which is uh, little one level up and which is costlier uh, to build to build the iot sensor applications so then uh, in the sensors the real data, real data will be collected all the time and it those are need to work on the low power as i already said because of the variable wearables and these kind of things which are connected to um, connected to power all the time to give the data out for us so environmental military body sensors home surveillance these kind of uh, sensors are already available and which are which can be used to collect the data so i am going little bit faster Uh, to cover more information for you um okay and once we have the sensors give the data aggregators which are we know about lan and personal area network um and the sensors are going to connect it to the lan and then those will come back to the iot systems okay so once the gateways are uh, once the sensors send the data to gateways what type of gateways we have how the gateway information is exchanged between the devices so here i will take a simple example with the example i will explain the information to you so there is a sensor which is uh, connected uh, to a to a light pole in a city and the sensor is uh, is collecting the information of 
of uh, light level for example so uh, what is the light level all about so why do we need uh, need a light on the ground when when there is a evening when it is uh, evening after 6 pm we need a street light before that we don't need a street light there is a sensor which is a photocell which is on top of the uh, light pole which is collecting the um, collecting the sunlight how much uh, lumens how much lux sun is producing depending upon the light uh, depending upon that information the side the light needs to be switched on to a certain percentage of the brightness we don't need to burn that light 100% because if it is a 100 watt uh, uh, light if it is burning 100 watt around 6 o'clock where there is a little bit of sunlight then we are wasting energy right there is an algorithm running inside the inside the sensor which is giving and calculating all the time sensor information and the light information and depending on that it is directing the light so that we have the light at 100% when there is no light so that information is collecting and the data energy is also measured in that um, in that sensor and that light is giving information back to its own gateway and that gateway is giving information back to the dashboard to a smart city uh, dashboard there the energy aggregation is happening for a whole city and we know that how much is saved by using the sensors by using this uh, kind of devices uh, how much we are saving the energy and these kind of things can be calculated so to do this we need all this this we need a microcontroller at the hardware we need a radio communication device we need a signal processing device which can do alterations which can do uh, modulations and we need embedded device there is a os running inside that embedded device uh, which could be a smart os very lightweight uh, application os and there is a sim sim card which is uh, because it's a remote device somewhere in the city we do not have a lan connect, lan connection to that device and there should be an encryption should be happening somebody somebody uh, hacked that uh, light pole and he switched on switched off the light pole during the night there could be security concerns in the ground so encryption will happen and then that will be connected to um, 3g or lte and then the information goes back to iot system so because of this massive uh, example of iot device again right light pole so there will be if we take uh, a city of um, hyderabad we have so many light poles in the city so the massive uh, data is collecting and there are a lot of sensors smart devices which are giving the information that means we need to have very efficient reliable performance for these devices and with a very low data rate it should happen okay so then we discussed already about uh, the management and management services uh, quite detailed in the previous slide so i i doesn't wanted to go inside more details performance is one important term here um, and uh, billing and reporting right so uh, the energy billing is another uh, in this example is energy billing is one of the key topics um, encryption we discussed already and uh, access control monitoring and uh, text 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 mining and etc etc devices right yeah so for text mining a very simple example today uh, today already there are video videos capturing the uh, nameplate of uh, of of our car bike or anything depending upon the nameplate uh, uh, depending upon your uh, escalations of traffic rule escalations uh, they already give you a billing uh, by uh, by the smart devices i mean the ticketing and the fines okay so applications we already discussed quite free quite uh, nicely in the different uh, slides if you want to go more detail you can go later on okay so when it comes to um comes to environment and uh, specific to uh, smart systems what type of uh, data is 
is needed what type of network size is needed what type of bandwidths are needed i just uh, listed down couple of them uh, in the smart house you can use uh, a very low bandwidth and uh, network size will be small it could be uh, not it it may not be more than 64 or something like that so you can use uh, a very low uh, network size and bandwidth uh, also very low so like that for a smart uh, energy and efficiency and fuel you might need to use a medium data rate uh, bandwidth uh, devices and once you have a transportation you need to use uh, medium to large device uh, uh, data rates and the network size also will be large and you have to use the network connectivity in a different uh, technologies okay so then cloud and cloud computing so all this data comes with a comes through a gateways and the gateways are sending a lot of information there is a there is a applications uh, platforms which are collecting this information and the process should happen on the cloud right so so once you have the cloud applications there is you need to have a very uh, reliable and fast and uh, agile computing platforms uh, a simple example for this uh, right so you have um, i will show the examples later on multiple examples where we use these uh, these things uh, for me if i see this uh, computing there is a there is a breakdown happened on the on the street somewhere right so google is already google map is already showing that there is a breakdown in the application but your smart car which does not know that because that breakdown happened happened a few minutes back or uh, something like that so your smart car need to understand this particular gps location there is a breakdown so i need to change my route so this is this is what it is agile all about and this is what fast and reliable all about that's where we have uh, still lot of gaps in the in the in this technology and the improvements are happening uh, day by day in the in this technology when it comes to services there are different types of services we see today already software as a service uh, is one of the as one of the services uh, which are happening quite uh, well today platform as a service and infrastructures also as a service yeah so when it comes to research and development aspects uh, uh, right so all these devices are very very low um, low low memory and uh, low processing power devices what it means so they don't need to work like our smartphones like uh, 4gb ram we don't need 4gb ram or 8gb ram or 16gb ram these devices will have very very low processing power and these devices are going to consume very low battery why because they need to be efficient when they need to be efficient only so most of the devices works only 0.1% duty cycles that means 99% of the times they will be ideal and sleeping but that 1% it should react and act to according to a situation and it should give us a right and reliable faster information to the back end systems and uh, we can use the devices like ipv4 and ipv6 uh, 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 connecting devices and uh, um, these are scalable uh, as well okay so this is again uh, i gave little bit about what type of sensors are using today you can refer this back uh, in the temperature uh, temperature pressure flow sensors and imaging sensors ultrasonic sensors these are the sensors which are available already which can detect and different models and uh, which can be used in our in your uh, applications and in your uh, future uh, projects okay so yeah so you can see here uh, what are the types of platforms uh, microcontrollers hardware sensors infrastructure interfaces what type of interfaces you need hardware interfaces software interfaces usb gpio uart or uh, rs2 rs485 rs236 these kind of interfaces are needed to to get the 
uh, communication back and forth uh, from the sensors to to aggregators and to the networks to the gateways and what type of operating systems uh, are needed you need uh, embedded software embedded so embedded firmware um, embedded interfaces with the hard, with a different uh, control hardware units uh, which are which should have a memory power input input output uh, devices okay i think uh, you all know about adreno which is uh, very popular in the in in the college industry and uh, you know all about uh, uh, raspberry pi and this is another one uh, beagle bone also can be used and these are the processors these are the powers of the processors depending upon the application you can use uh, these devices for your uh, projects and uh, platforms but in the commercial none of these devices are used because for your uh, for your to get your to get the experience you can use these devices and play around with these devices but in the commercial projects and in the organizations we don't be using all all of these devices at all no okay so i have a, a small video here which will give you a glimpse of how these how, whatever we talked on the iot architectures networks and uh, the devices a simple application which is a reality today which is there already in um, in hyderabad and in different parts of the parts of india and different parts of the world already so you will understand better about how this iot is helping today smart cities which go into more and more uh, smarter and smarter it looks like i have some problem playing the video okay so let me reshare uh, or we will um, ragu do we have some more time or uh, do we need to conclude in next 10 to 15 minutes time uh, yes we have time is time is there okay so then let me find this uh, exact video i don't know it was working in the morning but uh, some wrong uh, link or something like that it is it is goofed up okay so let me stop sharing and then again uh, share with a, a proper link Raghu, you are able to see my screen again? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. What if you could make your city smarter and more livable? What if you could set lighting schedules and increase lighting in areas where needed? What if you could increase your energy savings and run your city more efficiently? Introducing Interact City. 
With remote management of your city's lighting, you can deliver the right light when and where it's needed and boost the quality of city life and civic pride. Scheduling, dimming, and zoning save energy and resources, allowing you to make progress toward your sustainability goals and reinvest the savings in city infrastructure. Manage smart lighting for single light points, groups of lights, or even the entire city. Immediately identify faults for rapid response and deliver consistent service to your citizens. With the connected lighting infrastructure in place, 